Alright, what is up gamers? RC Styles here with another week of Fortnite challenges. This is Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2, Week Number 10, Midas' Mission, Part 2 Overview. Stick around to the end of this video because we're going to have some important information on the upcoming Travis Scott event. We're going to have some information on Friday's Deadpool challenges, Travis Scott's free challenges. We're also going to have information on a first look video at a game that launched yesterday. Um, we're going to talk about today's D&D &D game. It's going to be an actual tabletop D&D &D game held at my house. And uh, we're going to have a few people over and get some still frames of that. Those will be posted to Facebook. We'll touch more on that later. And we're going to have the return of Friday Night Frights with an official launch of a very anticipated game. So again, stick around to the end of the video to get all that information. So, we have a lot to cover with Midas' missions. Ten more challenges, and if you finish those challenges, really all you need to get is 19 total. And then you get the option to choose between Midas' ghost form, which you see here, or his shadow form, which you see here. At this time, I do not have his ghost or shadow challenge. As you know, I always do an update with that video at a later time. So let's get into his, his normal challenges real quick, so that way you know what to be looking for. Now again, my list is going to differ from the list that you're going to see on screen as far as the order is concerned. But basically what we're going to be focused on doing this week is we're going to be eliminating players with a shotgun, AR, and SMG. Next up, you want to search chests in different matches. They're asking you to find seven, so about seven solo matches will do you. After that, you want to eliminate a player or a henchman with either a legendary or a boss's weapon. I think your easiest route is going to be finding a legendary weapon and doing that. I could be wrong. Depending on where you land, you could get a boss's weapon right away and then go to town. Either way, it shouldn't be too difficult for you to do. You're going to want to heal teammates with bandage bazooka, duo squads, or team rumble for that one, guys. You're going to want to do... <clears throat> you're going to want to dance within 10 seconds of knocking a henchman. You're going to want to do this three times. This should be a pretty easy, simple challenge to complete. You're going to search different golden pipe wrenches. Catch a fish while riding in a chopper. Then you want to deal damage to players or henchmen. <clears throat> Excuse me. You want to deal damage to players or henchmen at the yacht and the agency in a single match. This shouldn't be too hard either. One more challenge, I believe, here. Okay, you're going to want to visit the... <clears throat> I'm going to want to visit the Agency, Hayman, and Greasy Graves in a single match. This one sh oh, again, I don't really think these will be too, too hard. Especially because if you jump in the solos, you can do this real, real simple with the choppers. And the last challenge that I have... For Midas, for the regular challenges for this week, is to deal damages to henchmen while disguised. Again, another simple challenge. To me, I think if any of these are going to give you any trouble, it's probably going to be the ones that you need to do all in a single match. To me, they're going to want to be done in like solos, and you're probably going to want to utilize a chopper for those. Now let's back up just a little bit here. As I mentioned earlier, right now there are some Travis Scott free challenges that you can do. Um, you want to visit the stage that's just slightly north of Salty Sands. You want to bounce off different astro heads, and then you want to dance for 10 seconds either at the yacht or at the ski lodge area. I know it has an official name. But it's a fucking ski lodge with a dance floor. So let's just stop at right there. 
Continuing on talking about Travis Scott, tonight is the first set of concerts that you can catch over at Salty Sands, and that is actually being advertised right here. As you can see, you're going to have one of the first showings tonight, which will be taking place at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I advise you all to get in at least by 6, 6.30. That way you're not overly crowded and you can basically find a spot that you, you know, can chill in. Plus, they'll be giving out a few freebies for attending. <coughs> so, make sure you join us Friday because we're going to have week 10 of Deadpool challenges on Friday. Uh, also, stepping back real quick again to Travis Scott, um, here's one of his emotes, you can see all of his items in the store, skins, etc. This is one of his emotes, which looks really funny as Kylo Ren doing that. I'm assuming that it does have music associated with it. Uh, because I have to shut off the music when I do these videos for anything that may be copyrighted. I was getting hit one too many times for never going to give you up. Uh, I have that attached to my Deadpool character. Um, you also see here you have Astro Jack. Two different forms of Astro Jack, as a matter of fact, would be here. Uh, two different forms of Travis Scott. And then, of course, the bundle packages. I usually like to leave you with stupid dances and everything else like that. Oh, plus you still have the Marvel stuff that you can still grab a hold of. As I was saying, I usually like to leave you with stupid dances and everything, but we still have actually more information to go over real quick with you. So I'm going to throw the stupid dances on. We got two here to choose from. We've seen Jubilation before. So let's start with the glow sticks. Stay with us all throughout the day because we're going to have a first look at a newly launched game called Stranded Deep. It's a game that's much similar to Ark Survival. Later on tonight we'll be doing a Dungeons and Dragons tabletop game from my house. We're going to try to get some pictures of that. We have a uh, part of the room set up semi-medieval like for that. And tonight at midnight, we will have the official launch of Predator Hunting Grounds. And that will be taking place as a part of the return of Friday Night Frights. And you can also expect to have some more dual gameplay from both me and Drifter tonight as well on Fortnite. So make sure you stick around, catch all that, and as always, before I say it, And with that, I'll be seeing ya.